What's up, you guys? So today I want to talk about what I carry. Autofocus. Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, guys. So today I want to talk to you about what I carry in my knife bag. Uh, the actual bag that I use is, is not actually a knife roll bag. I actually use a Promark TDSB Deluxe Transport Stick Bag. This is actually a drummer's drumstick bag. Um, my best friend gave it to me and um, it fits perfectly for all my knives. I want to talk to you today about what I actually carry and bring with me to the restaurant every day. All the things that I actually use. So in the front pocket here. vape juice. I have these cool little scissors that I use for uh, mostly for garnishes, greens, vegetables and stuff like that um, when I'm when I'm cutting up uh, some small things, cilantro, microgreen stems, stuff like that, stalks, stuff like that. Um, this is a digital thermometer that I don't really use anymore. Um, I, I use this when I worked at Morimoto because it was part of the uniform. They gave us some but I didn't I, I wanted to use my own and this is a cheap thermometer, but the ones that gave us at Morimoto were even cheaper than that, believe it or not. Uh, you gotta have these guys, you got to have these. Your pens, your Pilot G2s and your Sharpies, you have to have these. Can't stress that enough. I love this bag, by the way. Daz, if you actually end up watching this video, thank you so much for this bag. It's magnetic. So this is the actual bag when it opens. I can't explain how, how much I love this bag. It's perfect, it fits all my knives, even my long Yanagi, and it's so, it's so awesome. And my favorite part about this bag is I can fold it back and hang it up at the sushi bar on the wall where their, their hook's at. So how cool is that? Perfect. Let's go ahead and talk about this side. Oh my goodness, the pin fell out. This is my Kiritsuke, uh, Shun Kiritsuke. I can't remember the size, I think it's a 12 inch. This is what I, this is my workhorse. This is what I use every day for, from cutting vegetables to cutting my sashimi, nigiri, and even cutting my rolls with this. That knife is what I primarily use right now. Alongside that knife, this one is my Shun Usuba. I like using this whenever I'm cutting uh, cucumber and uh, green onion stuff like that. Um, I actually like to, I actually prefer to use this to uh, katsuramuki, cucumber, daikon, carrot, whatever. Uh, love this knife. This was a gift from Russo. If you end up watching this video, thank you so much for this. I still have it. And I still have that red Messermeister uh, Saya. I think it's a Messermeister, is that what it's called? Um, thank you, if you watch this. This big old donkey. This one is the, this is a Deba. This is my fish slayer. I cut all my fish, uh, my whole fish, I cut using this um, Deba. This is a gift from my girlfriend's mom. Uh, who is in Japan. This is actually her her mom's mom, Hannah's grandma's uh, old Deba from the probably the 60s or 70s. And uh, she actually used this way back in the day. So this is actually the best Deba I've ever had. And um, I'm currently keeping this one on me at all times for those fish days where we have a delivery of, and I gotta break down five different fish. This is what I'm using. In this bag, I also carry my old tempura sticks. Uh, any tempura chefs, you guys know what these are. These are not actually, they look like drumsticks for this drumstick bag, but these are actually tempura chopsticks. You use this to pick up vegetables, shrimp, proteins, whatever it may be, and you dip it into the batter, you dip it into the deep fryer, and you use these. Oh God, you have nebiosa. Um, I don't know why, but I keep a ruler in here too. I also have my plating tweezers that I got from Hawaii. I don't really use them that much. I prefer uh, the Moribashi, but super cool to have. Comes in handy for the people that don't know how to use Moribashi. 
And um, I don't know, why not? That's cool. And this bag also has a little pocket right here, which I keep paring knife, my first big paring knife, which was a gift from a guy over at, that I worked with at Ichiban, I believe. Um, I forgot his name and I'm not farting if you can hear that. It is my chair. My tweezers as well, my bone tweezers. On the other side, I have a paintbrush for when I do my makeup at the bar. I keep a small little makisu bamboo thing. I don't really like the small ones, I prefer the big thicker ones, but this was a gift as well, so I keep it with me. And let's see, I have my Moribashi that I bought while I worked at Morimoto as well. It matches all my chun knives and my Miyabi knife, and I love the way they look. I can't remember the size, but I, I prefer to use these over the tweezers all day. The head chef at Morimoto asked to use my Moribashi, and I told him I didn't have any, and he looked at me and said, you're a sushi chef and you don't have Moribashi. So that very next day, I went and ordered some online. This is my Miyabi chef's knife. Um, I bought this while I was working tempura at Zigu. I needed a knife that was lightweight and I was able to chop anything I needed uh, for the fry station, uh, which included part of palm. I needed to be able to cut shrimp, cut chicken. I needed a general all-purpose chef's knife that, that could cut pretty much anything I needed. I love this knife. Cheap, it's very affordable. I think it was a hundred bucks. And probably my favorite knife of all. This is the last thing I keep with me at, in my bag. This was a, um, I got loaned this when I first started working at Morimoto. I got loaned this knife um, because I didn't have a proper Yanagi. I was using a left-handed Yanagi, which was the only one that I had. And when I started working at Morimoto, the head chef from Morimoto Maui came over to Waikiki and he offered to loan me this until I could pay him. And he only, he only, he charged me very, very cheap for this knife. And he just said he wanted to support me and help me grow as a, as a sushi chef, help me grow as a sushi chef. And he let me borrow this until I was able to pay him back. So Kawasaki-san, thank you so much for this. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I keep with me in my sushi bag. It's very direct. It's very simple. I don't I don't want to carry too much things that I don't need. If you ever thought what I ever what I carry in my bag, that's everything that's in my bag. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. I have a ton of ideas for videos uh, upcoming in the future. Um, I plan to do one or two a week and um, hopefully I'll be able to get that out as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I'll see you next time. When Guardian Leviosa, Leviosa.